Hey guys, welcome to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be hanging out in beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Lawrenceville, Georgia. And I am standing at the lawns here, which is a new development area for Lawrenceville. It is their mixed-use, community-oriented development, almost sold out as well. Uh, there may be some sale opportunities in here uh, right behind me, but that's where we are today. So if this is your first time here, my name is Raymond and I am a real estate broker here in Atlanta, Georgia. I create YouTube videos just like this, taking you around to different communities, different parts of the Atlanta metropolitan area so that you can see hands-on for yourself the community and I do walking tours and all that stuff. So basically, if you are looking to move to Atlanta, Georgia or the metropolitan area, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you'll be notified when I post more content about living in Atlanta, Georgia and the surrounding areas. Like I said, today we're going to be walking around Lawrenceville, Georgia, uh, which is a beautiful suburb just northeast of Atlanta. Uh, roughly, it says on my notes, cars 32 miles, 32 miles exactly, road miles from downtown Atlanta. So if you like suburban living, definitely consider Lawrenceville. Okay, so in today's tour, in today's video, I'm gonna actually show you around downtown Lawrenceville. I'm gonna walk here from the lawn uh, up to the um, downtown area. And uh, once we get up to downtown, I'm gonna give you some pros and cons. I'm gonna give you some, some uh, data points regarding Lawrenceville um, so that you can consider it for your move. It's gonna be a full video, uh, so definitely sit back, relax, and let's get into it. You always take me so high 
Got the marksman in I think my heart's in danger. Make me feel like I was safe and sound and switched up and switched off the safety. How you plan? How you plan? Like you've been using me with all your problems mm -hmm. You drew blood, caught in the woman's eye Repeat shots in the fire line Feels like you've been using me with all your problems mm -hmm. Call me sensitive when I cry But you don't miss a single time Feels like you've been using me You say that I'm mistaken The shots you've taken All the pain was a mess Somehow the blanks is your claim Getting less for now Cause I've found out Oh, yeah Oh, feels like you've been using me for talking But your pistol was concealed from me I should have known that you'd be using me, using me Now I see that you, baby You've been using me for target practice All right, guys, so as we walk up here to the actual square area um, I guess I just wanted to share just my opinions of Lawrenceville Just casually So one of the things you'll notice is the city is very uh, much traditional as far as a Georgia town. Um, most of your towns in Georgia, which I've never actually recognized on the channel or stated on the channel, but a lot of them end with Ville, okay? So you have Fayetteville, Lawrenceville, Loganville, uh, Douglasville, all of these different Villes. It's absolutely crazy. Um, so let's see, as we walk across here, we're almost at the square. Um, where you would be able to kind of see how the, you know, the, 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 I guess the center of the original town or the original area. Um, so let me get up here and uh, take you to the square and then we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of living here in uh, Lawrenceville. So let's do it. Okay, so we are about to take up a chair over here at the historic Gwinnett County Courthouse. Um, so, I, I will say this my first impressions of Lawrenceville Georgia is um, it is a true suburban city uh, meaning it's not trying to compete with any of the city attractions um, it is okay and content being a suburban city to its core um, through and through um, which is one of the things that I think most of the residents here in uh, Lawrenceville actually enjoy. So let's get into some of the statistics for uh, Lawrenceville. And uh, yeah, let's do that. All right, so first things first, the population here in Lawrenceville, Georgia is roughly 34,000 residents. Uh, the medium adult age in Lawrenceville is actually uh, 33 years old, which is very, very young uh, compared to other, uh, other suburban cities. Uh, especially a city of its age. Of that 34,000 residents, 42.4% of those residents are white, 37.6% of those residents are black, 13.83% uh, of those residents are two or more races, or uh, well, it's a combination. So what I do is I combine this uh, percentage. So a com combined between two or more races, some other races and American Indian and Alaska Native makes up 13.83% of the population here in Lawrenceville. 
and then uh, Asians make up 6.1% of the demographics here in Lawrenceville. Uh, the average household income here in Lawrenceville is $66,644 with a ownership rate uh, percentage of 49% of the residents own their properties and 51% of the residents rent their property, which is one of the things I'm going to talk about in my pros and cons. Uh, the medium home listing price here in Lawrenceville is $366,000, so you can find a bargain here in Lawrenceville for sure. The public school systems here in Lawrenceville is going to be in Gwinnett County Schools, which is amongst the top five. Uh, it, it is amongst the top five public school districts in the Atlanta metropolitan area with a very diverse and large public school district. Um, Gwinnett County Public Schools is actually the largest public school district in the Atlanta metropolitan area. Uh, I think almost 200,000 students uh, in its system currently. So very large system uh, for sure. Uh, Lawrenceville, Georgia is also the county seat uh, for Gwinnett, Georgia, I mean, excuse me, Gwinnett County. So essentially all of the Gwinnett County uh, administrative and government will take place here in the city of Lawrenceville. The nearest major interstate from Lawrenceville is actually Interstate 85, north and south, obviously. Uh, but that is the nearest major interstate, uh, which is probably about five miles from the city limits, um, just depending on which section of the city you're going to be living in. Uh, but relatively, it's a decent, you know, not far of a commute to the major interstates. And then finally, the distance from Atlanta International Airport, Atlanta Hartsville Jackson International Airport is uh, actually 41.9 miles. That is the a drawback uh, living in Lawrenceville. If you have to commute to the airport constantly, uh, Lawrenceville is going to be a stretch for you. It's going to be a hike. 41 miles in the Atlanta metropolitan area is a pretty good distance, especially if you're doing it often uh, and if you're doing it in rush hour times. You're going to have to make sure you prepare uh, significantly for that trick. All right, so let's get into some pros and cons of living here in Lawrenceville, Georgia. Okay, so the very first pro of living in Lawrenceville, Georgia, in my opinion, is going to be active growth. Lawrenceville, Georgia is one of those cities that are actually growing every single year. Year over year, the numbers are increasing. Uh, there is a demand for the city of Lawrenceville, meaning uh, likely you're going to have a positive experience because of all of the economic, uh, you know, enforcements and, and, uh, and, and powerhouse behind that growth. Um, so essentially, one of the pros is that it is an actively growing city um, and people are happy to call uh, Lawrenceville, Georgia home. The second pro is going to be probably one of the top pros. It probably should have been number one, but just depending on who you are, everybody don't have children. So it may not be their number one pro. But the number two pro on my list today is going to be the fact that uh, Lawrenceville, Georgia or Gwinnett County in, in general has one of the best public school districts in the Atlanta metropolitan area. Very, very, very um, well known, very re renowned. Uh, they are, Lawrenceville is actually home to the number one public high school in the entire state of Georgia. And that school is Gwinnett School of Mathematics, Science and Technology, located right here in Lawrenceville, Georgia. Um, it is not a zone school. It is a uh, lottery school, meaning, uh, you know, there is no guarantee that your child is going to be able to go to this school. Uh, but essentially, it's nice to be in the city of Lawrenceville, in the county of Gwinnett. Uh, and so if you are in the city of Lawrenceville, living in Lawrenceville, uh, it puts you a little bit closer to that school uh, when the time is right for you to bid on the lottery for your child to attend the school. Uh, so essentially that's a huge pro for Lawrenceville uh, this school I'm gonna be doing more research and more videos on this particular school but it is ranked number one in the, in the entire state of Georgia and it is also ranked the ninth in the entire nation so it is top 10 in the entire nation the United States of America so that is really really large and to have that right here in small town Lawrenceville is uh, you know, something to be proud of if you are going to be a resident of Lawrenceville, Georgia. And the third pro of uh, Lawrenceville, living in Lawrenceville, is going to be an affordable alternative to um, Atlanta. 
uh, it is a very affordable alternative from living in the crowded and congested hustle and bustle of Atlanta. Uh, and you're also able to save on real estate uh, as well as taxation here living in Lawrenceville. So ultimately, it is a great relief, a great alternative to the busy Atlanta, Georgia streets. Uh, so if you like the suburban lifestyle or if you want a change of pace from that city living, then definitely Lawrenceville, Georgia is definitely a place that you should consider on your list. All right. So let's talk about some of the cons of actually living here in um, Lawrenceville. With all good things, there must be some negative things, right? Definitely. Let me walk on the other side of Lawrenceville to show you. Well, <laughs> let's walk on the other side of the downtown square to show you another perspective. Uh, and then we'll jump into the cons of living here in Lawrenceville. Let's do it. All right, so let's talk about some of the cons of actually living here in Lawrenceville. Uh, to me, the first con is gonna be the traffic and congestion. Um, I think one of the reasons that the congestion is such a problem in Lawrenceville is the fact that the city was not laid out originally uh, to house as many residents as it does have in such a small uh, geographical area. 
most of your traffic in Lawrenceville, in all honesty, is going to be closer towards the city, city center. So the further you get out from the city center in Lawrenceville, the easier things are. Um, then the only other issue for community is going to just be into Atlanta, like on Interstate 85 going south into the city of Atlanta. So, uh, but that is, could be a concern to anyone who is traveling uh, daily commute to Atlanta. Um, you're definitely going to want to invest in the uh, Georgia uh, Express Lane Pass so that way you can actually uh, be able to get in that toll lane to avoid some of the traffic that is on the 85 uh, interstate during peak times during the day. Okay. Uh, the second con to me is going to be majority renters. Um, and in some parts of Lawrenceville, not all parts, but in some parts of Lawrenceville, uh, in some subdivisions, you can see that. You can see a clear, uh, distinct uh, lack of pride in home ownership in some communities in Lawrenceville. Uh, and that is because there are more renters in that neighborhood than there are owners. So you're just going to want to make sure that you pay very close attention to the subdivision, uh, specifically how the community is maintained, uh, and that will give you uh, idea of who is actually living in that community. How many of those residents in that neighborhood or subdivision are actually renters and how many of them are actually homeowners. Uh, and I always bring this ratio up because, you know, most of my clients, I am trying to assist with making sure they understand how to bridge the, the or how to maintain what's important. And your property values are important to be, uh, main, you know, to maintain. Um, if you, if, if, if the community is not being properly taken care of, then those values aren't gonna be uh, predicated. Like you're not gonna see that valuation uphold throughout the time of you owning that property. You're gonna start to see it dip. You're gonna start to see uh, people not wanting to buy in your neighborhood. Uh, it can be that bad, you know. I'm not saying that every community in Lawrenceville is that way. I'm just saying that because there are more renters in Lawrenceville, you're gonna see it more often than say Fayetteville, Georgia, where 71% of the owners, 71% uh, of the renters in Fayetteville own their property. You're gonna see that pride in home ownership exude throughout every, almost every community, seven out of the 10 communities. Whereas here, it's like four out of 10, right? So um, again, that's just something to be mindful of. Um, in closing, in short, Lawrenceville is a beautiful place to call home. I think it is a great alternative to Atlanta, the city of Atlanta. And I think you can't beat the value when you when you look at the public school district, uh, you look at uh, the cost per living here, which more videos will come out about cost of living in Lawrenceville. So definitely, I, I think it, if, if you are okay with Northeast Atlanta uh, being 40 miles from the interstate, I mean, excuse me, <laughs> if, for being 40 miles from the airport and you're okay with that, uh, then Lawrenceville is truly a great place to consider. Uh, great value all around. So. Uh, big enough to uh, feel like you're not in, you know, the sticks, as we like to call it here in the South, uh, and, and small enough to not feel like you're in uh, a major metropolitan area with uh, all of the problems that come with a major metropolitan area. So great alternative, just depending on your lifestyle. Uh, so that's my two cents on Lawrenceville. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. More videos will come out from uh, the northern suburbs. I have been really focusing on the southern suburbs for sure, but more northern suburbs and neighborhoods are going to be coming out very soon. So that is a reason for you to smash that like button and smash that subscribe button and come and be a part of the family. Also drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about Lawrenceville. If you live in Lawrenceville, share with the people your experience of living in this great city called Lawrenceville, Georgia. Uh, and if you have any interest in moving to Lawrenceville, Georgia, as far as buying real estate, definitely reach out to me. If you are a homeowner in Lawrenceville and you're looking to sell your home in Lawrenceville, reach out to me because I can assist you with selling your home as well. All of my contact information will be in the description below. So feel free to reach out to me. And until the next time, you take care of yourself and I'll see you on the next one.